Hey everybody, Tom here again. Like I mentioned on Aperture Chat, I'm getting ready to head out on the road for a little bit this week and out to Ohio. Hopefully I don't die of boredom, but to prevent that, I'm going to take out my camera bag with me. And you know, a question you get asked a lot in this field is what's in your bag? It's become such a big thing. There are actually whole websites devoted to what's in my bag, which seems kind of crazy to me, but it's all right. I'm out here putting it out there for people to see anyway. So my go-to day-to-day bag is a Temba large messenger bag. It's specifically designed to carry a DSLR and two to three lenses. It's a well-built canvas bag. Uh, it does not come with my Aperture Chat logo on the front. I did that myself with a, uh, one of those t-shirt transfer kits, but <clears throat> it is double latched in the front. I have these open, but you also have Velcro behind that. But in these front pockets, I have in the top pocket here, batteries. Always gotta have spare batteries. And then on the other side here is spare memory cards. So extra memory cards. The 6D only takes SD cards, so I only need to carry those. One thing the, the Tembra large bag has is this easy access zipper in the top, which I use most of the time. But as far as what I'm carrying with me is the 6D with the 7200 lens on it that I use for pretty much everything. And you guys will see a review of that when I get back from this trip. The Canon Nifty 50, 50 millimeter, 1.8. Get some nice, you know, close up. It doubles as a macro lens when you, when you need one in a hurry. And my 2470. And that's pretty much my lens trifecta right there because I don't have a 1424. Uh, I don't do much in wide angle, so it's not a good time to invest in that yet. But in addition to that, I have my speed light, just in case I need to shoot in the dark. And the most important thing in this bag is my Black Rapid Sport Strap, which this does happen to be the Jared Pullen I Shoot Raw Edition. It's also bright red. It's the only one that comes in red. Uh, that allows me to just carry the camera. I'm um, hanging off my shoulder. You've probably seen me wear it in some of the other videos. It just makes, I don't have to worry about dropping the camera because even if I let go of it, it's only gonna drop down as far as my hip. So that is huge for me out in the field. In the front pockets here, I don't have anything in these pen holder pockets. I got all the pens in the back pocket, you'll see that. Um, what I usually keep in these front pockets are travel documents, things like my passport, uh, also business cards, and if I'm flying the tickets, I'll keep in here so that they're inside the flap so I don't have to worry about losing them. There's a front pocket here. That's where I usually hide books when I'm getting ready to travel. I don't have a book with me right now, but that's where I'll hide that. Inside here, you can see there's dividers. So it gives me three good sections and then one kind of loose section. Over here in the loose section is where I put the strap if it's not staying on the camera. Um, each section is completely capable of holding my 7200 on the body or any combination of the 2470 and the 50 and the body so I don't have to be stuck in one setup as I travel around. This is supposed to be the laptop holder section but I don't carry my laptop in addition to this but you know I keep carry it separate from this bag. So in here I keep my flash bender and gels just because they don't take up much weight or space and you never know when you're gonna want to light something up. So not much more to this. There is a spot to hold a tripod. I don't carry a tripod on me every day. I pretty much only take that out when I'm planning on using it. And it's padded. This is a shoulder bag, so it gives a nice padding to bump it on your sides. And there's another pocket back here. This is where I hide my pens, uh, power adapters, battery charger, because I might be out long enough to charge batteries, and my ND filter. And for this trip, also my portable hard drive because it has all the video files on it which I'll be working on from the road a little bit. That way I can not fall too far behind with keeping up with what's going on here in the studio. So that gives you a quick overview of all the stuff that I carry around on a daily basis in this bag. Uh, if I were to take my tripod uh, it, I would latch it in here and have it just 
hanging off it's a few extra pounds but totally worth it and if i know i'm out hiking for the day one thing i have found is that when these are strapped up i can put my camelback latched right into these it has the, its own clips and it will stay on here all day and it doesn't really seem to be in any way because i have access through the top so that's what's in my bag i'm curious what's in yours